Hello Internet, Andrew Huang here again for LPX Studios. Welcome to another quick episode of How To. Now today's How To has been a quite a requested one and it's going to be how to change seats in the Oculus Cinema app on the Gear VR. I've been getting several requests uh, about this function for the last several weeks, but I haven't been able to do it on my own. And the reason is because I did not realize that I did not update my Oculus Cinema app. I thought it was gonna update on its own. But what you have to do is at home, first open up your Oculus app on your phone. And then what you do is you wanna hit the top left three dots there, bring up the menus, go up to your library, and then scroll over it's from games, to experience, to apps. Now I've already updated my app, but the thing is, I'm gonna scroll down to another one that I didn't update for you guys, and you can see that it says right here, update available, um, and it automatically puts it there, and it actually notifies you of this, but apparently I overlooked those notifications. But all you have to simply do is go ahead and tap that update button, and let it update and hit accept and it's going to update your app for you and that should allow you the function of changing seats now one last thing before i dive into the actual unit to show you how to do it you're going to need one of these guys a bluetooth controller for an android device so um, either if you have the Samsung version, this Moga Power, Moga Pocket, or a third-party version, you're going to need one of these that are compatible with mobile devices. Now, for those of you who are wondering what this is, this is the Moga Power Pro. This is sort of like the in-between model from the Pocket and like the Pro Pro one. This runs around about 50 bucks. It's a little bit pricey, but for me, I like it because it mimics the Xbox One control a little bit, and it feels really nice for most of the games. All right, so once you've updated the Oculus Cinema app, go ahead and put on your Gear VR, and let's go ahead and go into the Oculus Cinema app. Now from here, you know you've updated correctly if you are now showing a shorts bar. So before I only had trailers, multi-screen in my videos, but they added this whole shorts thing. And I believe these are a couple of indie films that they've released. And the thing is, they're not downloaded to your, to your device. No, what they're telling you is you can stream it here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play one of the trailers here that they have, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the Hobbit trailer for you guys. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe mute out the audio just to, you know, CYA, so, but let's just go ahead and play a movie. Now, once this movie starts, you're obviously in the theater, and this is the default spot. You're in the middle and everything. But uh, when you have the control bar hooked up, all you have to do is press Y, and it'll switch seats. Now I'm in the front row. Excellent, so the screen just got bigger. Press it again, now you're in the rear so you're much closer to the projector you're in the back and the screen's a little bit more forward so you you see the full screen better so just watch the video really quick you'll see the screen size change so already here's view one view two and view three so it's bigger so now you're looking up at it so this is cool now obviously they didn't add the function where you can go ahead and seat in that seat over there or that seat over there but here's another perspective so now you can see the projector that's right there. Now I'm further away, and I'm further away. So that's really cool. And the thing is, guys, like this is actually really cool because I thought I didn't really have any complaints about the movie app, but now that I have this, I actually prefer sitting in the back because now you get a better view of it, and it really does look like a freaking movie theater. Now you can also do this in the home theater version as well too. So go ahead and select there. And then obviously you're sitting in the back row on the in the middle, but you go ahead and press Y and you shift over. Shift over again. Now you're at the end seat. Now whoever really would want to sit here, I don't really understand why, because you might like being near the oops, sorry, you you might like being near the door. But when you press Y after this part, now you're in the front. And I actually really like this view because first of all, if I had a home theater like this, that'd be B A. <laughs> I don't want to curse here, guys. But you can go ahead and switch seats in the front. And this is actually, I actually really prefer this seat for the home theater. So this is actually really nice. So, all right, guys. Well, that's just a quick tutorial on how to change seats on the Oculus Cinema on the Gear VR. Now, if you have any more suggestions for additional how-tos or any questions in general, please go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll be more than happy to address that for you. And if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, for more content, more how-tos, and a variety of videos I have on my channel here. Um, and if I don't see you guys in the next video, thanks for stopping by. I at least hope you found this video helpful. But hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.